Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Nightcore. Now this here is their MH40S. Now I was sent this a little bit too long and tall to be showing that angle, but everything comes in this box. Now they wanted me to test and review this light so let's wait no further. Let's open it up. See what's in. As you can see here, very nice box and packing. Make sure you get your light without any issues. It says begin your new journey with the new generation of flashlights from Nikkor. And we'll start off with this here. This is a remote control. And I believe you can do it up to 30 feet. And we'll try that out. A lot of goodies in here. Not too sure how to get it out, but we'll figure it out. Tells you everything that's in this box here. Try to figure out how to open it. Make sure nothing else is in there. We've got the warranty card, one user manual. Now the detailed information is excellent in these manuals, but unfortunately they are small to be putting up on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on screen for you instead. And as you can see there, puts out 1500 lumens on the highest output. Now remember that's a dedicated thrower, so that's quite a bit of light. Now, if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, we're going to move along here. Looks like we got a strap of some sort here. Nice, looks like it's Velcro. It's good so you don't lose it. One more thing here in the holster. We got USB Type C charging cable. Now, if you use a QC 3.0 or PD charger, you'll be able to rapidly charge this light. We have one lanyard, one o-ring. Now this is an open-end design holster. And it is lined here as you can see. D-ring, double stitched material. So just remember the light hangs out past this. So if you sit down and scrape up against things, it may scratch up your light. This here, I believe, is the charging. Yeah. So it's nice that they include this. Now, I personally use a dedicated charger for my batteries. So, but if you don't have that option, you can use this. This will rapidly charge your flashlight. This is a QC charger, so that is nice. Very nice quality on that. Now we'll put this stuff, make sure we put that stuff back. Nothing else is down in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the light. 
there it is long barrel lights can be used as a weapon as well got your tail clicky there you do have a side switch as well here's the charging port that is a nice tight seal on that as well a little bit of heat sinking here both sides of the head pretty long light especially uh, fond memories of carrying the old mag lights so these long barrels are still uh, in my memory and they're all fond memories and believe it or not I still have quite a few of them that I converted to LED some knurling here the grooves on the body here are pretty deep so it's definitely going to be able to grip that even with gloves and not worry about that slipping out but there's flat areas here on either side so you can rifle mount this so that'll be nice Now the machining and finish on this is excellent. No issues, no sharp edges. And the style and design on this is nice. No issues there as well. Now this does feel solid, it's got some weight here at the head, the batteries are in it. This is a complete kit, so if you do need to use it to do a strike on someone, it's definitely going to hurt. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep smooth reflector which has a protection piece on it I want to make sure you remove that now I was reading up on this this is using a lumen engine G9 LED which I have never heard of but very nice smooth reflector not a speck of dust alright so now let's go ahead and take this apart and I'll show you the batteries that it comes with dual springs there Now there is a protection piece here you want to remove. There are two 21700 cells, 5000 milliamp. These are a 20 amp cell, but the protection piece here I believe is 10 amp. So it should be plenty with the both of them and uh, that's a lot of power to combine both of them to run this light 
I want to put it all back together. Now we have to activate the light. Now let's go through the UI. Light is on. Don't worry about the donut on the beam there because the further back you get that easily and quickly disappears. As you can see there, we're going to go through the light outputs. I can feel the heat in that hot spot. Go ahead and take a look here at the beam. You can see how intense this is. The hot spot is very sharp. It does have a little bit of a of a I want to call it a halo, but definitely some bleeding right there. And the spill just cuts off abruptly. Now this LED is definitely providing a an impressive hot spot there. Wow. And back down to the lowest light output. Alright, so now let's go through the special modes. To get to the special modes, you're simply going to press down and hold the side switch. We'll get you a strobe. And that is a variable speed on that flash very distracting press down and hold again we'll get you beacon press down and hold one more time we'll get you SOS Now if you press down and hold again it will go back to strobe, click it one time, goes back to the last light output that you had it on. This does have memory mode, so if you want it on the highest output, turn it off, turn it back on, it will be on that light level. So that's uh, impressive. And that's all there is to this light pretty straightforward easy to use on the UI which is what I prefer personally the holster we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at it here how it fits now the holster does fit okay does have the same width as the head of the light Remember it sticks out so you want to be careful with this area when carrying it. That's if you don't care about scratching it. Alright, well that's what that looks like there. Alright, so now let's do one final thing with the remote and uh, check it out see how it works now this is rechargeable as well this is the strap for it if you want to use those straps and be able to position it and carry it with you and then you can just detach it real quickly to be able to run the light away from it okay so we're now going to go ahead and do the pairing of the remote you got to do it this way so we're going to go ahead and screw down the tail while holding down the side switch for five seconds so we'll do that hold that down now we're doing that and it should start to blink 
there. So now we're going to go ahead and press both the buttons here. You got a button behind the Nikor. Press and hold until it becomes steady. And we now have a steady beam. And we're going to go ahead and go through those. You have the pressure switch action going on. So if you do mount this to a rifle with this light, you'll be able to instant access to the highest output here, which is nice. Now we'll go ahead and turn it off. Turn it on. Press down and hold. And turning it off, turning it on with this button here. Just kind of show you. you can go through those light outputs. Pretty neat. Press down and hold will get you strobe. Sorry about that. Press down and hold again. We'll go back out. Click it one time. Press down and hold again. Turns it off. That's actually a very nice feature. Now the button here is pretty sensitive. So if you push too hard it's like doesn't want to respond. So you just barely push it. Press down and hold. Go through those special modes again one more time. SOS. And I'm learning it just like you are right here on camera. Pressure switch. Turn that off. Pressure switch that. Pretty nice. You just got to get a hang of the uh, the button here because it does have like a grommet fill. So as you can see here as I'm pushing on it, just barely pushing on it. it makes like a, not a clicking noise, but alright. That's pretty cool. So impressive, build quality, top notch, never an issue with Nightcore. Now these dedicated throwers are my third favorite, second being Flood, combination being my all time favorite. So, alright, well let's wait no further. Let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Nightcore MH-40S. It started here in a water spout. Now that is 38 feet from where I'm standing. Sorry I'm bouncing around so much trying to find the button here. I'm going to go straight over to Tree of Life hitting that with ease. So that's nice. You can see the spill. Very nice wide spill area on this light. And it is faintly making it across the park to those playgrounds as you can see there. Pretty incredible. Especially at this light output. Tree line. That tree there is 65 feet. While I'm standing, go up to the next level here, see how it does. Spill has come alive, look at that. Now, a little bit of the artifacts up close. Kind of was playing with it here, and you don't see it in the distance. So that's a good thing, but within 30 feet, you're seeing kind of the artifacts right there. Especially as you get closer, you can see them right around the outer edge of that hot spot. But the further out you get, you don't see it at all. 
so it's impressive. 238 feet there to that tree behind the tree of life. 138 feet to this tree. Usually making a school there. First palm tree making that. Second one as well. I don't know what happened to it. Seems to have lost a lot of its leaves there. We're going to go to the next level here on the palm tree. Man. Impressive. Like I said, the only issue that I see, and it doesn't bother me because they're not my favorite type of uh, beam, but it's just that little bit of artifacts up close. So nobody uses these things up close anyways, but just a hint to you guys out there. And it is faintly making that furthest palm tree. Look at that. Wow. That's the farthest tree in my testing area. And I list all the distances in my video links below all my videos. You'll find it there. I use Google Sky View. We're going to go up to the next level. Let's we'll go ahead and do it here. Let's see how it does. Wow. This thing has very nice throwing range and power. It's usually making those furthest trees there. All the trees on the outer edge of the park here and schools just lighten it up with these. There's the furthest palm tree hitting it even better. Man. And the spill is just super strong on this. So you can see the foreground if you're tracking an animal. This does really well. Incredible. We're going to end it over here on the furthest tree. Two stage button here welcome back hope you enjoyed those night shots it is impressive I love the remote the more and more I use it the more I'm getting the hang of it there is a two stage button here it's a little tricky at first but it does work well had no issues with it now once you turn off the light, turn it back on, you're ready to go. Anytime you need to use the remote switch, you can. Uh, I'm going to attach it with the Velcro to the body of the light so I don't lose the remote switch. Then if I need it at a later point, I'll, I'll take it off. But uh, really... Uh, a decent performance. The range on this is is incredible. It's got a lot of range to it so if you're okay with the up close, now the further out you get of course out there and distance wise I couldn't see the artifact. So it's really for up close maybe 30 feet, 25 feet you start to see it a little bit but the further out it's not as noticeable so just let you know that uh, as far as build quality the holster everything is very nice quality it is an open-end design so be careful and remember to protect your light so it doesn't get scratches from the bottom end here uh, easy on the UI pairing is easy of the remote switch the batteries here are really nice quality they're going to give you quite a bit of run time. That's 10,000 milliamp plus. You can use other Nikkor cells if you want to buy extra. You have them. Now you can use OEM cells if you can find some with button tops or slightly raised cells. They should be able to work in here because there's still 
some area where the spring sticks and uh, should make a good contact on that battery. But uh, Type C charging system, really a plus on this. Plus they include that rapid charging QC charger. And this one here I believe is 45 watt. That's pretty powerful. All right. Well, I want to thank Nikkor for sending me this MH40S to review. Now remember, this is a complete kit. Comes with everything you need in this box to get started. Using that remote switch, you can set the light up maybe in a distance on a tripod somehow. There's no tripod mount on here, but uh, you can use it on a rifle, mount this. You'll be able to use that pressure switch located closer to your hand. Anyway, any ideas that you could have, you have that option. And the remote works about 30 feet, so that's plenty for most applications that you may think of. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description to the nycoastore.com. I also have a special discount code there. You'll be able to use that, save some money on this, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button, make a little donation if you want, or you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these new flashlights from Nikkor to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.